The unadulterated atmosphere of bygone times fills the cobblestone streets and squares surrounded by arched palaces. We can see archaic balconies and ornate barriers, gates hammered with nails, behind the gates inner yards with flowers, ceilings covered with wood, windows with bars. This is Trinidad, the timeless city, the place everybody must see. Local people said these sentences until in the end UNESCO took it on trust and in 1988 the city of former sugar barons was pronounced a part of the world heritage. The Museo Romantico tells us about the life of sugar barons as the Cantero Palace in the nearby Simon Bolivar Street. In Attila Borghetti's words, taste, elegance and luxury describe this beautiful building with a shady patio and a small garden with palms. Downstairs there's a kitchen, a shed, and the former servants' flats. Upstairs, a nine-room suite for the counts. The huge carved double doors, windows, and Venetian blinds, the wainscoting, and boarded ceiling of some rooms were made of mahogany. The hand-painted fresh ornaments on the walls, which consist of tropical fruit, leaf, and flower motifs, are fascinating. The rooms were furnished with brilliant Baroque sets of furniture. What else could we add to this? as if we were on the set of a South American soap opera. The open kitchen and its well-preserved furnishings take us back to the past, aided by the exhibited drawings, maps, engravings, and photos. From the tower, we can see the new tourist center of Trinidad, which was built on a high hill. Near the motel, the entrance to the stalagmite cave, Cueva Maravillosa, can be found. <laughs> 